All right, everyone, I'm here with the Dyson Big Ball Multi-Floor Canister Vacuum. I'm just doing an update on it and giving you my thoughts. You can see it has definitely been being used. See how much dirt is inside of the bin. Oh, let's see, let's check the filter first. That's the first thing we should check. So basically, the filter is pretty much clean, like, See, there's a few particles on the bottom of this filter, but I don't really uh, see you having to clean this filter very much. Like, this filter is incredibly clean. See inside the cyclone there's a little bit of dust. Should see what's getting being past the cyclones. Let's see what type of dust. You can see that's the see those super fine. All that. All those little dust particles right there. would have been getting past the filter, or past the cyclones, and getting stuck in the filter. Those are super, super fine, fine particles. Those are only a few microns in size. Those are some extremely small dust particles. Try to get my camera to focus into the cyclones again. See, look at that. So basically, most of those little fuzzy particles are pieces from the filter. But look at this. I I don't see you having to vacuum, or sorry, to wash out this filter very often. Let's put this back in. Here. I don't see you having to clean this filter very often. You have to the amount of used I've been putting this through. I think 28 cyclones on here is uh, enough to keep really fine dust from entering the bin, or from, sorry, from getting clogged into the filter. Check down here. I can't see the motor. The motor's way inside of here. But I don't see you having to clean this very often. I just don't. It's lost. Let's put the bin back. Let's see anything else on the bin. Let's check the exhaust to the cyclones. Nothing. No dust. No dust is getting past. The these cyclones are really small. Like you can see, like my thumb would have a problem fitting through those the little cyclones. They're only like this big across, like that big. See, they're super super tiny. You can see how small they are. So I don't really see dust plus. There's 28 of them on here. There's a lot of cyclones on this machine. There's tons of cyclones all across this machine. I don't see uh, having to clean that filter very often because I've been using this and it's clean. Check the brush roll. See, not much hair gets stuck on this brush. There's a little bit right there, but the carbon fiber uh, doesn't collect much hair. See, there's a lot of static making dust stick to this thing. But um, let's go over some pros and cons. Pros are um, the never, it doesn't tip. The non tipping, I'm not going to do it now. Let's see a few scuffs on it from running into the stuff. Uh, 
but um, let's say the uh, in fact that it doesn't tip that's a plus um, this handle is a really nice addition I like that the HEPA filtration is nice um, those are the things that I can think of yeah this comes off like that that are good the attachments are nice it's great for hard floors the cons are the only con I think no motorhead because of the turbine head but it's not a con for me because that's I didn't I I knew that and didn't go for a motorhead they don't have they don't sell motorhead canisters anymore So I think if you have mostly hard floors, a little bit of carpet, this would do fine for you. Now if you have a lot of carpet, go for an upright Dyson, not a canister. That's sort of just the rule, I guess is what you call it. If you need, if you have carpet, special, well thick carpet, this will clean low pile carpet, but any thick carpets, you're going to need to get a can of, a machine with a motorized power head, not a, uh, I don't know what you call it, with a motorized power head, not an air turbine. But overall, this is a great vacuum, and I like it. The only con is the, uh, is having a turbo head but that's not a con if you know what you're getting into that's if you bought this expecting clean carpet with it so I'd say that this machine is great I like it it's a good machine it's very maneuverable filtration's good it's not smelly uh, it doesn't get nasty after cleaning up this this material right here is from the rabbit cage and it's really stinky and I don't really smell anything coming through this machine. Plus there's cat food in there if you can't see. The bin is pretty dented up. Dirt spins around in this thing like crazy. So, like I'll show ya. It's, there's too much back here, but it spins like absolute crazy in there. And when it's doing that, it's scratching up this bin. So I'm not gonna bother trying to unfog this because it'll just get refogged in one use but uh, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more